Hello future people! Welcome to Getting Tabled, I'm Jason the Bruce, and today we're going to unbox a large paint set and talk about whether there's something you should consider or not. Fairly obvious what I'm holding here. So there's no real secret there. But the reason that I want to talk about large paint sets is more so for the newcomers. When it comes to large paint sets like this, generally speaking, and when you're first enough. getting into the hobby, honestly, buying a large paint set like this is not a smart idea. Just buy the colours that you need. Just buy the colours that you want for now. It, at a later stage when you're further down the line, you may find that you would get value out of this. But in the experience of myself and my close friends, all we have found for newbies that have gone and bought large paint sets is ultimately most of it doesn't get used or it ends up putting them off so far that they end up, don't, they end up leaving the hobby because they regret it. I actually brought this on Boxing Day. I've actually had this sitting on the shelf ready to do an unboxing for quite a while. So, at time of recording, we're on the 11th of March. So that goes to show, like, realistically, I didn't need this. I brought this because it was on an insanely good deal. Uh, I don't remember what the... I think it was... It, it was something really silly cheap. So that, that's why I brought this. I had wanted this for a while, but I knew that I didn't need it. This is the War Paint Air Mega Set by Army Painter. Um, I'd kind of been hoping that Army Painter would do an airbrush set for a while because I think they're probably a company that's suited for going in that direction given the consistency of their paints. I don't know what the quality of this is like yet. Uh, generally speaking, the review, reviews have been pretty good, so I guess we'll find out. Uh, but we're going to look at a couple of things today. Firstly... We're going to have a look at the way that things are presented. Um, and then secondly, we'll talk a little bit more about why I made the suggestions that I did. Let's head down. All right. So, looking at the back for the moment, let's flip around and have a look at the front. Now... Army Painter are one of these companies that tend to push your trio, so everything is in sets of three. Uh, I know that there's people out there that highly praise this. I know that there's certain painters from other painting hobbies that tend to try to push people away from this because they actually think that it's false information. Uh, I'm not here to talk about what's right and wrong in the hobby. Uh, I'm only here to talk about the product and generally speaking what's a good purchase and what's not um so we've got 50 air war paints nine air metallics one fluoro i know that the fluoro is the green 16 color triads so this is what we were talking about so this is a triad this is a triad etc etc what's the actual presentation like not much I'm pretty sure this is the same book that comes with all of their big sets. That's not a good... I mean, th th these paint books are actually pretty good. They do give you some good advice. Um, complete set of war paints. Highlight chart. That's the full range of these. Now, this is interesting. It actually tells you a little bit about the consistency of their product. I like this. So, air and medium is in the top. Heavy pigment and medium pigment is in the middle. And then heavy pigment is in the bottom. That's making the assumption that you're stirring, so that you're sitting them upright. So, they're actually telling you why you need to shake things. And what you'll hear is that all of these actually have a mixer in them already. It actually gives you some 
brochure about the air packs. So there we go. Um, all right. I'm going to go through and actually double check how many are actually in here. So, I can confirm that there's 60 paints in here. Just tilting that a little, just to give you a full view. 60 paints. So it is 50 of the regular war paints, 9 of the metallics, and 1 fluorescent. Now, that is the way that I always thought that it was meant. But, the reason I checked this is because it could have been 50 that also includes this. Um, there is also this inside. So if there's anything missing or broken or smashed, you contact them and they will replace it themselves. Meaning that you will not have to go back through the store that you ordered it from. Uh, all of mine looks like it's arrived okay. I'll have a closer look in time. Um, I mean, they're regular dropper bottles, just like anything else. They're not pre-sealed, so you don't have to poke them like you do with some other ones. So you get the name of the paint here, where it fits in its triad. And this particular one is 100% colour match, because this colour exists outside of this range. You will, however, find that there will be some colours in here that are not colour matched. So this one, for example, is not colour matched, because there's no spray paint that matches this. The point of this is because they have different types of product that are the same colour. So... That one is a base for the orange. That one's the mid for the orange. We've got base, mid, and high. Light. So, now that we've looked inside the box, I want to have a little bit of a chat to the newbies among us. Because I think there's one thing that really needs to be covered on this, just to make something very, very clear. If you're new to the hobby, and you're only just starting to get into it, I would not recommend to buy a box like this. In fact, if you was to go on to the Army Painter's own YouTube channel and watch one of the videos where they look at this or the larger, the, the larger complete collection, usually you will actually find them making the same recommendations. Now, the reason that most people will tell you this is not because, oh, you don't deserve it. it it's nothing like that. Honestly, when you're new to the hobby, there's so many things that you need to spend money on or that you want to spend money on. If you go out and buy a 60 paint paint set with every color under the sun, honestly, you probably will not end up using 80 to 90% of what comes in this box because you're just never going to. I probably will never use everything in this box and I'm going to go out of my way to try and make sure that I do. Um... When it comes to the new staff of the hobby, the thing that normally scares people away is when they spend big money on something that they end up realising that they didn't need, and then it turns them off whatever that hobby is. But when it comes to things like this, you can spend your money in other areas and it'll do you much better in the long run. Once you've, once you've gotten further in and you've got into a bit of a rhythm, if you still want to go out and buy one of these, great. I mean, if you buy something like this, that's fine. I'm not telling you that you're not allowed. It's more, I'm giving you this advice because... It's more, I'm giving you this advice because... I want more people to be into this hobby, and I'd rather see you spend your money on the stuff that you need, rather than the stuff that you're never going to use. Like I said, I didn't need to buy this. I chose to, and I'm very happy that I did. But the main reason I brought it is because I got it at a really silly price. Otherwise, I wouldn't have brought this either.
So that's my advice to you. Uh, generally speaking, if you look at my getting tabled guide, it actually says the same thing. And I think if you ask your friends and you ask around the other people in your hobby area, most people will tell you that as well. Thank you very much for checking out this video. If you're enjoying the content of this channel, please like and subscribe. If you're in a position to do so, please check out patreon.com slash getting tabled. You receive early access to at least 80% of all videos that we put out and you get access to the video edition of all of our podcasts the day that they're uploaded. If you'd like to check us out on social media, facebook.com slash getting tabled is the most active. We also have a Discord server. You can email our team at gettingtabled at gmail.com. If you're on either Twitter or Instagram, you can find us at gettingtabled. And until next time, play more.